All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be like my first spooky conspiracy video that I'm doing. Um, I'm hoping to get this up before Halloween, but I'm definitely gonna keep this trend going um, after Halloween and just hopefully like incorporate it into my channel. So my name's Paige. Either welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm glad you found your way here. So today I'm going to be talking about how someone related how Willy Wonka is like the children's version of Saw. So this theory actually comes from the user on Reddit, um, UH Talon. It's like the U and then like a backslash and then H Talon. So to start this theory, um, the children in Willy Wonka are killed by a crazed madman killed. I'm going to say that lightly because they don't actually die, but like in this theory, I think that they're playing on the fact that like it's a kid's movie, so like you can't really kill them off. But um, Oh, and again, I'm not going to take, like, a side on this theory. I kind of just want to put the theory out there, and then, like, if you guys want to leave comments down below on what you think, I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, I'm going to say this one's a little, like, silly, but I definitely see where they're coming from, so, I don't know. It's kind of spooky. But anyways, back to what I was saying. The children are killed by a crazy madman in Willy Wonka, and in Louis Saw's, um, Saw, not Saw's, Saw. <laughs> The adults are also killed by like these intricate traps and like both for like the same type of reason um like in saw jigsaw's like view on it is that they've done something wrong in their life so they're being punished and and willy wonka like these children are um their punishments come when they do something wrong in the movie like eating the bubble gum they're not supposed to or like going into the tv room or drinking out of the chocolate river so we'll get all into that a little bit more um, I have something on like each of the characters so just stay tuned so to start off Augustus is the first one eliminated he was like the fat kid who um, was who fell into the chocolate river so there are like controversies on whether Willy Wonka pushed him in or whether he fell in you know when I was reading this on reddit like the users in the thread of this were just going wild on it, whether or not like he was pushed or whether or not he fell. So I'm gonna leave that up to you, but in this particular theory, it's saying he was pushed. So first he's pushed into the um, river, and Willy Wonka says he'll be fine, but he can't really swim, like that's known, like he can't swim. Um, and also when he's underneath the chocolate, like just like if you're underwater, you can't breathe. So he's just under this like chocolate <laughs> puddle, that, like river, that he can't breathe in. Um, so next you see him sucked up into a vacuum tube, and while he's in the tube, you can see, like, he can't breathe, and it's, like, sucking the air out of his lungs, and he's also, like, tightly compressed in it, so it's saying he can't breathe. Oh, this theory is saying at best, like, he's gonna have brain damage from the oxygen deprivation, um, and definitely hearing loss, because you can hear how loud this machine is, and, like, he's just in there, and it's, like, pounding in his ears, like, the loudness, because the characters still, like, down in the, like, candy land thing can hear exactly, like, what's like the sound sounds like so imagine being in that tube like it's saying that it would have caused him like permanent hearing damage because it was so loud <clears throat> so more than likely when the line ends um he's gonna be stuck at the end but you can see like the chocolate will come out no longer than like this so he's still just gonna be stuck there like unless it suctions him out which is kind of morbid um it would kind of just like squish him and he would not survive that and it's also saying since um, Willy Wonka clearly cut corners, they don't have walkie-talkies or phones in this, they use kazoos. Um, so the, like, what's the word I mean? The probability of the Oompa Loompas finding out in time is very low because they're using kazoos to communicate, um, which is not effective. He's also traveling at such, like, a fast rate that even if there were, like, phones in place, it still would not be very effective in order for them, like, he's going too fast for them to, like, find out soon enough to, like, help save him. Also, like, the Oompa Loompas, it's saying, like, they weren't, it's not anticipated that he's gonna get sucked in again. Like, each of these deaths, deaths, um, I'm gonna say incidents, because I don't want to, like, make you think they died. I want you to have, like, your own opinion. But each of these incidents, like, none of them are expected. It's all, like, the kids are just going against what they're supposed to do. So, um, yeah, it's just saying that, like, because nowhere else in the movie you can see, like, the tunnels, so by the end, like, it probably goes through walls, so there's also no way of, like, seeing him through the rest of the movie, or, like, if the, um, Oompa Loompas aren't in the walls, <laughs> like, there's no way of them seeing them, 
So they wouldn't know until it got to the end when there's like an Oompa Loompa there to catch it. So the next we're going to go on to is Barusha Salt. I think it was Barusha. So assuming she didn't burn alive because there was definitely like fire in play with this one. Um, you have no idea how far she fell. Like when she's singing out her notes, you can tell when she's like falling. You can hear like she's getting very far. So even four or five stories, like falling four or five stories can be deadly. Like, And at the least she fell four to five stories and she fell on like gold, well it's assumed, she fell on like gold plated chocolate eggs, which is not, she fell on metal. So like would have definitely caused some issues when she fell. So even if she didn't die, she would have like probably broke her back or like been severely like hurt. There was no way that she came out of that just fine. You also never hear when she falls. So when she's like falling through the air, you never know when she actually like lands. And like, that's just not something that we hear about in the movie. Which again, I'm guessing because it's a kid's movie and they don't want you to like think that she actually died. Like this is a kid's movie. So no one actually died in this movie. This is just like a theory. I'm going to keep probably saying that throughout like the um, course of this video, but just keep that in mind that no one actually dies. This is just a theory about like these kids should not have survived. So next is Violet, and she's the one, she's iconic, literally everyone's been doing her for Halloween this year, which I love. So like, she's one where it's like, Violet, you're turning Violet, and she ate the bubble gum that she wasn't supposed to eat. So, um, Won Willy Wonka like plays this off as though she's like, ate some juice like that she wasn't supposed to have and was still like, in trials. Um, which doesn't make sense, because there's not really, why would you first of all put something on the market that would do that to someone? And like, what on earth could that be? Like, I know this is supposed to be like a fantasy movie, and like, again, just going off this theory, what on earth could be in that that it would like turn someone into like a blueberry? So, um, when they say that they're gonna juice her, this theory got kind of like, and her character is kind of dark. Like, they're saying that they were bloodletting her, which in most cases, like, when this happened actually like a long time ago, people did not usually survive from that because that's just not how you deal with injuries like bloodletting is actually quite dangerous so the simple ending in this one is like either she's not going to survive the bloodletting or she's going to have like lost most of her limbs um and there's no way like she would have survived that either so again she was had like terrible acts performed on her so she's the third character who this happened to and then the fourth is going to be mike I think his last name was TV, which I think was supposed to be a pun because he's the one who like shrunk down and like was in the TV. <laughs> so um, Willy Wonka's solution to this was to stretch him, which like if you think about that in real life, like if someone shrinks, like you're just gonna stretch them. Like I know this isn't very realistic to begin with. Like Willy Wonka is definitely supposed to be just like a fun like kids movie. Like, <laughs> but yeah, so stretching him. So like to start stretching him, like. I don't quite remember this. This is like set in theory, but like, I don't really remember this part in the movie. Like, is that they had to like throw him in the incinerator to like warm him up in order to stretch him. So first of all, that would have killed him. Like if he was thrown in the incinerator to warm him up, that would have like definitely just been the end of it right there. He would have just burned. Um, and this is actually drawn from like a real life thing called drawing and quartering, which is a form of torture. And it kills you by ripping your limbs out of the sockets of you um and just letting you bleed out like this theory is just <laughs> very dark like i don't want you to think i came up with this like this is an incredible theory like whoever came up with this like their brain is working very hard and like <laughs> this is an incredibly thought out theory but like i did not think of this um i just think it's like really interesting that someone came up with this theory so next point is um you never actually like he keeps like every time like a kid is lost a parent is lost so like this is saying like every time something happens to the kid they just like kill off the witness too which is the parent um which is kind of crazy to think about like that is true but like throughout the movie when i was a kid when i watched it um and all of this is going off of the um gene wilder one not the um johnny depp one but i never really thought about that like that the parents just disappeared too I assume because they were just like going with their kid and like you know but like in this theory they're saying that like the parents would have just been killed which makes sense um 
So now we're gonna go into Charlie. So obviously nothing really happens to Charlie. He comes out in the end as like the only one who was like saved. But so on this one it's saying that um, Charlie and his grandpa like conveniently drank this drink in the room where there was like a huge fan above them. Like that would have definitely killed them if they got up there. And it just so happened that the grandpa started to burp out all these bubbles in time that like it fell down to the ground. But could you imagine, and then they just like forgave him, could you just imagine like if you were um, Charlie and his grandpa, that when you came down and you almost were killed by something that this man just left out, and you watched all these, all these other people just be killed, that you would um, walk away from the situation just like, nope, we're done, like, thanks, Le like, we're leaving now. But, um, yeah, <laughs> so there's that. So... This next theory kind of like, or this next part of the theory, it's all one theory, kind of leads into this. So it's saying the reason that like both the grandpa and Charlie just like laugh this situation off is because at this point they have Stockholm Syndrome, which if you don't know what that is, that's where like you eventually are on the side of like, this happens a lot in like kidnapping cases is where it's like brought up, you're on the side of your kidnapper. So like you just think this is like a normal, fun, like fresh situation and like you're going along with it, like you're here for the ride. Um. But they use like an interesting quote in this, or like he came up with this, I'm quoting it, I guess like I should say. But if someone bought you coffee, let you drink it, and then told you they put cyanide in it, and by sheer luck you survived, would you continue to trust that person and think that they were a sane human? I thought this was interesting because like, yeah, that makes sense. Like at the point like you were almost killed, like maybe you should step back and like reevaluate the situation. Like, you know, you watch all these other people be killed or like taken like actually no one even knew if they were alive until the end of the movie when they all walked out so this whole time charlie and his grandpa could have thought they were killed like no one sees that they're alive until the end of the movie when they're all walking out of the factory so um yeah and Willy wonka is seen as like a serial killer in this guy's mind and he killed four children and their parents and then brainwashed the fifth child to want to eventually run the factory that he's running himself so it's saying like charlie was so brainwashed and like the stockholm syndrome like thing coming back in that like when charlie leaves he's given like the key like he's going to be the next person who owns this factory like charlie won it so there was also a second part to this theory i kind of want to touch on so it's saying that this was the beginning of um willy wonka and his killing of the seven deadly sins so this can be seen in like a lot of different serial killer um, movies and like real life situations. I believe that this has happened in real life. Like it's just a common thing among like spookiness. And it's like you kill a person for each deadly sin. So this was the start of it. And four of them were killed for the seven deadly sins. And Charlie can kind of be seen as like a fifth. So the first one is Augustus. When he was killed, he was considered the killing of gluttony. So because he was like so like indulgent in this chocolate like he was told not to drink out of the river but he was like so gluttonous he drank out of it that's why he was chosen to be killed because he displayed strong like views of gluttony and then ferocious salt she was seen as sloth because if you remember throughout the movie like everything she wanted other people did for her she was like very spoiled so like nothing she did was for herself she was very lazy and like everything was just handed to her so some people see her as greed but she would actually be considered sloth for this reason and then violet would actually be considered greed because she was the one who was addicted to bubblegum and like she was greedy enough to eat this bubblegum that was said not to be eaten like she was very greedy and it had to be taken for her own so she was considered greed and then mike tv he was considered to be pride which made sense because um I mean, he was just, like, a very, like, full of himself, like, douchey little 12-year-old kid or whatever. Which, like, isn't really fair, I feel like, because I feel like all these kids were around the age of, like, pre-puberty, like, or a start of puberty. So, like, to think, I don't know, that's just, like, a hard age. And I feel like this theory, if this were actually what the movie was based off of, like, I think that's, I mean, first of all, people just don't like killing kids in movies. Like, that's not a, not a cool thing. But I think that's why, like, a lot of adults are in films, because if you think about it, these kids are going through, like a lot in their lives already this is kind of like a tangent that no one really has brought up it just kind of came to my brain but like at this age like they're just going through so much and yeah like they might have been spoiled but like i don't know so he was considered pride but like what 12 year old boy is not prideful 
and then Charlie can be seen as um, envy. So this is because like throughout the movie, like it is mentioned, like he's the poor kid, like you know that. So like, and he wasn't really killed. So like, the reason like I don't know, I just feel like it's weird nothing happened to him because he definitely displayed like envy throughout the movie. And like when he um, drank that drink and was like flying in the air with his grandpa, like that should have been like the cut. That was like the thing that like every other kid had. They did one thing wrong, and like Charlie did his one thing, and like they still let him go. But like so yeah, he can be seen as envy. Um. So the next thing I want to touch on, this is something I've thought about for a long time, um, is the use of Oompa Loompa. So this is like going not off the stereo, this is just like on my own, like, like, just food for thought, I don't know. But, so, if you think about Oompa Loompas, like, the door is locked, no one can get in or out, like, throughout, except for like at this time, because they found the golden tickets and they were gonna either, like, they were able to explore the factory I guess like that's what they want so um Oompa Loompas though are just trapped in that building so like they are like enslaved people and they're not like actual I don't know how to say it's real life people they're orange little like Oompa Loompas they're not even called like humans or like and they're not meant to like display um like small people they're just like something that I'm guessing Willy Wonka created and then he found out a way to make like a whole community of them so these are like enslaved people and like I feel like there's actual hints of like slavery that comes back into this because they always sing songs and like they don't really speak English well so like when they're singing these songs um no one knows what they're actually saying which kind of reminds me of like slavery because slaves had like slave songs that had hidden meanings like what if these Oompa Loompas are meant to like display slavery and like systematic racism so that's like just something I thought about and Willy Wonka just like expects them to do everything and like because they live there for free like they eat there like they don't get paid properly and they can't leave the premises like you don't see any Oompa Loompas in real life in that movie like so these are just like enslaved creatures that Willy Wonka has created which is kind of crazy to think about but yeah all right well that's like the end of my theory um so again this was by the user you backslash h talent so i will leave his name below and i will try to link this article as well so you can read it and like read through what he actually had to say because it was a very interesting like read and i'm so mad because there was another theory and it was um how billy wonka is in the same realm as the um four sacrifices from i think it was like the house the cabin in the woods it was the cabin in the woods so I was saying how it related to that, but once I clicked on that article, it was deleted. So I couldn't give that one to you guys today. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this like conspiracy theory, more just like sit down, like just a break from makeup, like kind of day. Um, it's been, I said this in my, cause I don't know if you're gonna see this first or if you'll see my eye like BH Cosmetics tutorial first, but I mentioned in that one, like I've had midterms this week and it's just been a long, past couple weeks like just with school because I am a college student like still going to college I'm in a sorority like as you can see all these canvases like so I'm a very busy person so like trying to make time to film has been kind of hard but I am trying to get better about it and like come up with a schedule and just like work it around everything else I have to do so like on these days I can post but I just haven't found like a really good day to like film edit post and I just have to do that still I was thinking about like Mondays and Fridays but uh, stay tuned <laughs> I'll let you know like hopefully by my next couple videos like I'll have something done but so I have this video going up and then I'll have like the eye tutorial that I did it's not really a tutorial I showed you how I used it but it was more like a review and first impressions but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and if you made it to the end give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below I'm gonna start trying to think of like something fun to do for the comments so if you made it to the end of this video leave the lollipop emoji down below for Willy Wonka and just all the spookiness. But I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you're at, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.